Hi everybody, it's Kara, and if you watched the video right before this one, you will know how I made all of these gorgeous papers right here in front of you. What I wanted to do with this video was to show you that tag that I said I was going to make using a couple of these. The tags that I actually made are pretty similar, so I'm just going to show you one in detail. And I made these for the swap that I will be hosting over at Art and Sassy for July, the Mixed Media Tag Swap. And this month it's going to be all about stencils. You can take out your stencils and use them however you want. And I'm going to show you what I created using some of these papers. So here is my tag. I basically took kind of the standard number eight size tag and I cut down one of those gorgeous papers I created. And if you look really close, you can see there's some of that ruler stencil in there and there's some more down here too and over on here. And I cut it down to fit the tag and then I distressed up the edges of the paper and I inked them up a ton. I put a little bit of blue, a little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow and then went to town with some stamps. I used some Tim Holtz stamps. I was kind of feeling the whole Tim Holtz thing. And this sentiment is um, from a greeting farm stamp set. I think it's the Dreamy Kit, back from when I uh, guest designed on the greeting farm. And I just kind of stamped all over the place. I had a ton of fun. I didn't think about it at all. Stamped around the edges, all sorts of stuff. And then I added, if you can see those little blue dots, I added some little, um, bit of Mr. Huey's where I just kind of tapped off the color and then I thought some sequins would be perfect so I added some pink and clear ones that you can see in a couple different sizes. I love these itty bitty ones. They are from Pretty Pink Posh. Some of my absolute favorites. They look great on everything. And then I created kind of a very messy little bow and tied on one of these little charms using some twine and I actually just glued it to the tag and called it good. I had a absolute ton of fun making these tags. Here's the other one. Like I said, they're very, very similar. The difference is, is it has a slightly different stenciled background, which is the clock one. I don't know if you can kind of see those on the video, but um, I absolutely love this. Uh, I just decided, I know you guys have heard me talking about my kind of missing mojo, and I've just decided recently that I'm just gonna get back in there and play and take inspiration where I can. And I was really inspired by a blog post that Tim Holtz did um, using this technique. Like I said, in the last video, I think he called it stencil printing. And I just had a ton of fun. And as you can see, I still have lots of different prints that I can use for a variety of things. And I did make a few cards using this technique. There should be a blog post up. If not, by the time you see this video, then soon thereafter, showing you a couple cards I made. And I just had a... a a fun time with this. It was relaxing. I didn't think about it. I didn't plan it. I just kind of grabbed supplies and went for it and I had a lot of fun doing it and I don't know for those of you who put videos out there sometimes you really put them out there and you kind of worry about the comments you're going to get or if people are going to like them you know the things that you created and to be completely honest with this one, I honestly don't care because I had such a good time. Um, I hope you guys like looking at them. I hope you guys give the uh, stencil printing a chance. But if not, I'm okay with that because I had such a good time. You know, sometimes you're at work and you just want to come home and play with your art supplies and that's what I did. I think it probably took me maybe 30 minutes to put these tags together at most. It was just so much fun. So if you guys have any questions, I know I kind of rushed through it, I didn't give you much detail, but leave them down below if you want to know any other details. Um, and like I said, check out my blog. I will have a link down below to that, and I will put a link to Art and Sassy in case you want to check out this month's tag swap. Like I said, it's going to be all about stencils. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time to do it, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.